For the first time in history, an American official has been jailed for believing that marriage is between a man and a woman. The truth of it is, I think it's somewhat of a test case. In other words, the government wants to see how we're going to react. They are bullying Kim Davis into giving up her deeply held religious beliefs. Kim has just as much right to oppose homosexuals as homosexuals have to oppose Kim. Volunteers with tradition, family, and property came down last night, in fact, drove through the night to be here to show our support for Mrs. Davis and tell her that millions of Americans, like us, support what she is doing. Thank you, Kim. 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 Um, Judge Bunning um, acted as a tyrant. I was in the courthouse. I was in the courtroom every minute. And he knew exactly what he was going to do before he even got there. He already had the vans outside. He had the jailer, from what I understand, summoned already. He used Kim Davis coming down hard on her to intimidate five out of the six deputy clerks. I know the sheriff here in Carter County, so this is not against our local law or anything. It's against the Supreme Court and our judges. Uh, another thing that I'm encouraging people to do, Christians to do, is to pray that God would remove the five Supreme Court justices who rewrote his definition of marriage, and God has the power to do that. Well, what is it going to take to wake people up? I don't know. If this doesn't do it, then I don't know what will. But we know by a vote of about 71 percent, the citizens of Kentucky have already ruled on, on marriage. I've been doing this for 10 years. I've never seen anything like this. Kentucky's the best. They won't let us go. Exactly. <laughs> they won't stop. Thank you. And what you are seeing is you're seeing a major uprising. You're seeing a major backlash of Christians in America. And it's about time that the Christian people forget about the name over the door, name on the sign, and actually come together and, and, and do this in unity. Well, first of all, I want to thank all the people that come out here to show their love for God and their support for Kim. But God comes first. I'm so proud of our, of our nation now that's speaking out uh, against what's going on. And, and I'm so proud of them taking a stand for God. You know, maybe this is what it took for everybody to get together. I just want everybody to know my wife's doing very well. I'm behind her 150%. I go do time for her if they let me, but they're not going to uh, because Bunning likes to pick on, you know, people that's afraid of him. But uh, I want you all to know she loves each and every one. She told me to tell everybody thanks to hold their heads up. Don't never bow your head unless you're praying to God. Don't be ashamed of what we stand for because she's a hold her head up high. And if this isn't the shot heard around the world to get Christians fired up and forget about their own life, the Bible says that we are to love God more than our own life. And if we don't love God more than our own life, then we're not worthy of Him. It's that simple. And I'm telling you, I will die for what I believe.